Hey, Sandra here. So I saw um, Fals the Bad Guys, This Is Nigeria last night. And can I just say that I don't think Fals is giving the credit he deserves as a Nigerian rapper. And this is coming from me who doesn't even like rap music. I don't like rap. Not like I don't like rap, but I have to be in the mood for it. And it has to be a certain kind of rap. But I find that I actually particularly enjoy the music that, that Falls the Bad Guy does. The rap that, that Falls the Bad Guy does. It's with everything. It's not just about this is Nigeria. It's also about the what he did with Wed On Sir. It's, it's what he did with uh, regards to your mom. See, I love what he says with his music. And he has managed to do that as well with this particular new one. He's arguably the most insightful, the most probably the most thoughtful rapper out of Nigeria and I honestly wish that we would stop thinking of him as a funny guy and start to think of him as um, somebody who is brilliant somebody who is who continues to stay relevant for the culture especially um, from what I understand rap to be this like I have so much respect for the guy he is so socially aware he is so conscious and he brings all of that magic to this is Nigeria so this is Nigeria starts off with um, a shade at hush puppy did you catch that oh you will not get drunk Job. Um, now that I'm on TV, somebody will not get job is talking about my wristwatch. That was obvious shade about that whole Patek Philip experience with um, um, Hush Puppy and uh, what's the name of the guy, Fino. You know, and then he moves on from there and he talks about corruption in the church. He moves on from there and he's talking about um, the well, the woman, Philomena, who he actually mentions by name. Uh, and, you know, talks about how a python swallowed that money. He talks about the herdsmen talks about Nigerian politicians and the looting also takes a dig at Muhammad Buhari and his corruption fight I mean you're fighting corruption but look at the people who are surrounding you and then the people who are trying to come back so that we're going to re-elect them are people who still have corruption allegations leveled against them continue to loot the commonwealth of Nigeria and he was ballsy enough to say all of that and quote it in such a way that it was easy to digest I love it um, I also like that he took a shot at um, the Nigerian police force you know the police force closes at 6 p.m. security reasons that was hilarious and also the part where he talks about SARS and um, manages to point out the fact that um, yeah sure we have a SARS problem but if SARS catches you and I now and I have a rich father SARS will come and you know um, my father will come and rescue me and leave you at the mercy of the guys at SARS so this is Nigeria is the same way this is America Childish Gambino's version is deep on so many levels this is also really deep on so many levels you know you watch that guy who goes and gets his son and le leaves the other people to be brutalized you realize that that's how we are you know that's how we are like our problems are like that so we we try to solve our problems for ourselves alone when we know that a lot of other people are facing the same injustice are facing the same problem and trying to look for ways to navigate it so for nigerians it's almost always all man for himself all man for himself and he managed to capture that message and while all of these serious issues are going on around us in the country just like this is america with childish gambino we are focusing on learning shaku shaku that's what he did with those girls in the hijab and those girls in the hijab obviously uh, is a reference to the dapshi girls to the chibok girls so all of the girls in the north who are dealing with one form of oppression or the other and then of course he touches on the drug abuse situation in the country with the people who are drinking codeine and all of that so what he did with noble Igwe and the yahoo boys the way he put that together that was so well done it was so witty like oh no we Faust is so underrated man Faust is so underrated my own the only part where i have a problem and i was sensitive about was with the igp part because i feel like we shouldn't have been laughing but i feel like what he tried to highlight with that as well was we have someone who is obviously unfit for office leading um one of the highest positions in the land as the as, as the chief security officer you know so it's I, I like that he touched on that as well as all the other subjects that he tried to address. Man, he touches on a host of issues. He also shades Buhari again when he talks about Buhari referring to Nigerian youths as lazy. So the, the man as a cover, it is so dope. And for every commendation that he's getting for this, I 
uh, i think he deserves it yeah sure the quality of the video is not as great as childish gambinos and it's not as jarring as when we had that um we had that person go right up to the person who was playing the guitar and shoot him in the head yes it's not as jarring as that but i think that with the little he had to make this it was great you think that's all celebrity mediocrity i think not for a cover for a parody this wasn't even a parody this was a cover you know and it was well made it was so well made and i am so glad that he did this and i think it was a touch of genius to have his father's speech play in the background while he criticized all of these things about nigeria so it's like father and son coming together to tackle the injustices of this nation it was brilliant and i will just want to give him all the accolades that he should be getting for this and um, if you haven't seen the video yet i'm going to put a link to this so that you can watch it right now and see for yourself um the full video and then make up your mind if you like it or not Thank you so much for watching. Please click to watch my other reviews and also click to subscribe if you like what you have just seen. Until the next one, bye-bye.